Hey guys, it is Saturday morning today and um, it's 30 days till our final exams now. So let's get to that time of year. What I'm doing today is we've got this OSCE course. I was talking about OSCE in one of my previous vlogs, you can check that out. So the OSCE is one of the exams we've got. Mine's next month. So we've got this uh, weekend course, two day course, which says everything you need to know about the OSCEs. So um, I booked that. That's what I'm heading for today. That's what I'm going to do this weekend. So I'm just going to show what it's like to do the OSCE course. And I really hope it's worth it, you know, because at this time of year now, two days is worth like a week at the start. So with 30 days to go, you can't really just be throwing two days away just like that. Okay, really exciting as well. We got our jobs earlier this week. So all of us here in the UK, we've just been um, allocated our jobs. And it's just really put into perspective. Because all this, all these years of working now, and then you see the jobs are finally there. So the last thing to do now is just to pass these last exams. And then, um, yeah, it's time to go start working. Okay, okay, it is end of Saturday now and just got home from the course. And man, that course was intense. It was so good though. But I have no idea I used to do this. Back in the day, I used to be able to do full day lectures. Back in year one and year two, I used to do full day lectures like five days a week, no problem. I was literally sat there and I was just like, from after lunch, or like 2 p.m. afterwards, I was just there, just like my brain is actually hurting. I can't stay here anymore. And I just kind of feel sick now. My plan was to come and do some more, I have a hundred questions I want to do this weekend. So I want to do 50 today and 50 tomorrow. But I can't lie, that's not gonna happen now. I'm just gonna chill. But yeah, the course was really good. What we went through today, they went through all the medical, surgical and psychiatric histories in a lot of detail as well. And they also went through um, just like some of the physical examinations as well. So, well, practice all the physical examinations and they gave us a book as well, which contains all of that information in it. And I can't believe how they managed to squeeze that into one day. But really good speakers, really knowledgeable, they knew they were talking about. So yeah, so I feel a lot more comfortable with the OSCEs now, especially since we've got given the book. So we'll just go through that. Hopefully and the exam should be good. But yeah, um, I was mentioning, I uh, kind of lost the footage earlier, I was talking about my job, so I'll just mention that quickly. So here we've got our jobs for the next two years now, they've been given to us. And what I've got for my first, so I've got six rotations in total, three in each year. So the first year I've got psychiatry, general psych. Hopefully that should be um, a bit, um, that shouldn't be quite as intense as the other one. So just to ease me in, starting work, hopefully be a bit more chilled out. And then I've got um, gastro next. I've heard that's the opposite of psych in terms of intensity. I've heard that's really full on. So, you know, we've got those two. And then I have got a surgery, um, breast surgery specifically. And <laughs> breast surgery is always going to haunt me. Um, back in year four, so um, last year, on our um, reproductive um, rotation, we had like, a session to learn about breasts. I went to know about the anatomy and things, and I remember our first day, so we had a week to do it, and our first day we go, we were going to theatres, and it's, I think, I can't remember who it was, I think it was like three or four of us in there, and the, and the doctor doing the surgery was just there, and she just starts grilling us, grilling us, but we even got too far, let me go back a bit. So the day before that, actually, I went into clinic, uh, breast clinic, and the doctor was telling me that, oh, you need to come to theatre tomorrow make sure like, how good is your um, knowledge on it and I was like oh just like it's not that good and she was like whatever you do just cram tonight because she will grill you tomorrow and I kind of just thought you know it's going to be okay it's our first day it's fine it was a lie I lied to myself you know I played myself so it's okay but we went there the next day and this woman grilled us and she grilled us so badly this is the only time this has ever happened to med school but she literally looks at us halfway through the surgery like four of us she's like you know, you guys are wasting your time here in theatre, so you guys should just go to the library, revise before you come back. And that just traumatised me. To this day, I was just like, you know what, it's okay. I don't need, it's not that deep. I don't need to learn. I don't need to learn my breasts that deep. So, um, but yeah, it's... So I'm going to have to learn it now. Trial by fire. All of that good stuff. So it, it did come back. I want the chances I'd get uh, breast surgery for my last rotation. So that'll be my first year, and then in my second year now, I am starting on 
another surgical job, colorectal surgery. And then I'm doing A&E, which I'm really looking forward to. It'll be quite intense, but I'm looking forward to that. And then I'm finishing up with ortho and trauma surgery. So three surgical jobs. I guess, I'll, um, so I guess, well, I kind of want, I think I want to be a surgeon anyway. So hopefully that'll help. That'll be good. So I'm really looking forward to, um, to working now. It's going to be really good. And really adult now. It's going to be weird just like studying for all these years and finally I need to start work. I need to pass these last exams. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will be good. It'll be good. I'm really excited. But now my head is actually just like going to explode. So I think I'm going to call it a night now and just go chill. We have some food and get ready for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I think we're doing communication skills. So I'll tell you more about it tomorrow. But um, that's hopefully that'll be good. So I'll go through that tomorrow and I'll let you know how that goes. But yeah. Okay, good morning. It is Sunday now. And we're going I'm going out to the second part of this course. And man, yesterday was intense, you know. Uh, I think today what they're focusing on is communication skills. So like um, explaining procedures to patients and dealing with angry patients, breaking bad news, that kind of thing. So I think today will be really useful because um, just from the past, I kind of struggle with these stations because it's not really like the other ones where it's kind of clear cut what you have to do. You need to do this, you need to do that, you need to examine this, you need to present this, this and that. It's just kind of... <laughs> I don't want to say social skills, but it's just you just need to be able to deal with the patient in a way that is not often a wrong or right answer, but it's just the way you cope with the patient, you handle their um, concerns, and you find out all the ideas, expectations, concerns, all of that stuff. So I think today will be really good in terms to see their tips to go through that and how to handle it. We're here at the train station now, and I thought trains always do this when you really need to get somewhere and apparently the trains are delayed so if it's even delayed they doesn't tell you oh it's delayed by five minutes ten minutes just as delayed so for all i know this trick ended up getting cancelled which is kind of annoying but you can see here it's a bit of a ghost town sunday morning at the train station so i hope i can get i hope i can make it there in time but it's the whole day so i will see Okay guys, um, okay, hey guys, it is the end of Sunday now, we just got back home from the second, the last day of the course and today was good, today was really good, we went through, they went through all of the, um, all the history, all the, not the histories, they went through all the communication skills, so things like um, explaining procedures, breaking bad news, all of those things and it was, it was good because these are, these are the stations where it's kind of, Again, it's difficult. I was mentioning earlier, it's kind of difficult to see like what exactly what they want from you. And a lot of it is your personality, how you come across making the patient feel good and saying buzzwords, saying buzzwords and massively just safety netting, making sure the patient is safe. I think that's a major thing as we finally, our medical students, finally our doctors, we can be getting excited. We finally, our medical students, a major thing they want from us is to see that we're, we're going to be safe. So every single station you need to ice. So when I say ice, that stands for um, ideas, concerns, expectations, and they draw that into our heads. So we need to ice and safety net the patients. Um, so we need to know the diagnosis, what kind of things can go wrong, the red flags that can come up with any procedure, any illness, to let them know so they can come back. So always make sure the patient is safe. But yeah, that was really good. That was good, that was good. So some of the things, there was discharge counseling, so I'm reading off now, breaking bad news. And, oh my gosh, one of the Breaking Bad News stations, I'm pretty sure it's a Breaking Bad News station, well, unless I, um, no, interprofessional communication. So one of these stations was having a colleague that, is, that smells bad, that has body odour. And I'm just like, could you imagine if you got this in your final exam? You know, you've done all these years of medical and this is your final exam. You need, they're, they're assessing you how you can speak to your colleague in a nice way to let them know, hey man, um, you know, I know times are hard being a doctor, all of that stuff, but you know, people are starting to complain, you know, the patients are, patients are feeling some kind of way. And, and that's, a, that's a legit station. So we had to go through that. And 
So yeah, and course, um, like cultural examinations as well, different cultures, different religions, how they um, react to different medical procedures and how to deal with that. So today was really good. Um, I'm really happy we went through that because that is somewhere I'm really weak on, I think, because I'm very much, it's very difficult just to see, because just to see what the right thing to do is. It's really difficult to explain. Like if you do them, you'll know. It's really difficult just to see what the right thing is to do. Like everyone needs to be, it's not just like, examinations for example where like a heart examination there's steps one through ten you need to do and it's always the same you need to do this um these kind of stations you can speak to ten different people and get ten different answers on how you're supposed to do it where how long you're supposed to pause for if you give bad news um um they called it breaking bad news um chicken today so the whole thing is when you break bad news for example if a patient's got something like cancer you give them a warning shot, let them know this is a really, um, this is, I've got some bad news to tell you. Do you have anyone here with you? All of that. And then when you give them the diagnosis, the bad news, you're supposed to just be in silence and you're not supposed to speak. You're meant to let them speak first. And that's why they call it breaking bad news chicken, like, because it's so awkward, the silence that so many times, and your time's going in the station, so so many times you just want to speak. But apparently, you're just meant to let this patient. You meant to let the patient break that silence. But again, this I've heard different things other in other places again. So it's just difficult to tell, you know. But yeah. So we did that. They also went through um vena punction data interpretation again, like anemias and all of that. But I'm feeling a lot more confident now for the um the OSCE examinations. And um I think I said to myself I was gonna do those hundred questions this weekend. It's not gonna happen, I'm sorry. I think I'll probably do them this week and hopefully get on with revision now. So scary to think that exams in like 29 days now, like actual final exams in 29 days. And um, I think a couple of friends are talking about possibly going on like a week Euro trip, driving through Europe. That'd be so good. So the thing we want to do is we want to do it after exams, but before the results. So, you know, that's that sweet spot where you're just kind of free before, God forbid, anything happens on results day and some people don't get the marks they want to get. Hopefully we'll all just be rejoicing. Yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this. So this was a, a, a weekend course. And uh, just to see how we're going through in uh, med school now, the countdown, the countdown continues and we're almost there. But I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna close the blog out there and I'll catch you guys next week.